Alright, we're almost to the end. This is the second to last Linktober video. Uh, so the first name was Knight. So I just went with the uh, Phantom Knight thing from Phantom Hourglass. Um, not too much to say other than I slightly cheated, sort of, kind of, and used the symmetry, symmetry tool. Though I am pretty happy with how it turned out, even with that. I mean, it's there, the tools get there to be used, so why not use it, right? Um, I'm more happy with how the coloring turned out than the line work. I mean, the line work's nice, but I am happy with how I managed to get the coloring. Um, not too much to say. The background was kind of just quickly thrown in there. It's something to have in there. The next was uh, outfit, so I went with the Helian armor. Decided to instead of drawing Link inside of it, since I've already drawn Link um, twice, um, that I would put me inside of it. Even though technically I've drawn me what, three times now? <laughs> but, um, they, those were as other races, so those don't count. I was trying to do it freehand, and then it was just wasn't quite looking right, so I lightly traced over it, and then just adjusted it. Here and there, um, I did, after I got around to, like, coloring and stuff, I realized I messed up how I did the gloves. But it still looks fine as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. I actually spent a fair amount of time on it. Um, spending about uh, a little, it was just over two hours. It was like two hours and 12 minutes or something like that. Um, but yeah, I figured, you know, do, do this little shh pose where I'm like, hey, hey, I stole his clothes, don't tell him. Kind of thing like you know i i snuck link's armor and now i'm like being sneaky and yeah <laughs> i don't know i was tired i tried to do like a, a sort of like a hip cock thing like you have your hip kind of d d yeah that thing i tried Trying to find the uh, the other colorings for the outfits was a pain in the butt. It took me like 30 minutes just to find the colors that you can dye it. But I did have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, the thing I messed up is the that square thing on the back of the glove is actually supposed to be attached to the gauntlet and I have it as a separate piece rather than being attached to the, to the gauntlet. I think that's what the arm thing's called. But, yeah. I almost forgot to put the uh, 
the cape part of the hood on there. Almost, I remembered, but I almost forgot. I realized when I was coloring it in that I forgot the design on the upper part of the arm thing. Yes, I do have red and black hair, and yes, I do have stripes in it. That is, that is how my hair looks, for the most part. I figured I'd, I'd say that in case anyone's like, Why'd you give yourself silly anime hair? It's like, because I have silly anime hair. I'm sorry, my nose is kind of stuffy today, so if I sound weird, that's why. The, uh, the background there that you just saw me pull in was actually um, the design I took into my tattoo artist for uh, the tattoo I have on my left shoulder. Um, so this, uh, this, 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 words, day 28 was princess, so I figured I did Tetra for the Zelda theme, so I'll just do Zelda for the princess theme, because you know. Um, you can see my little uh, cringy reference picture down there. That's from like 2000, uh, crap, two, 2000 something. It's like five years old, something like that. But that's actually the same picture that the old Ganondorf that I had drawn is from as well. But I decided to go somewhere in between my my cringy Zelda there and the uh, Twilight Zelda, because she's one of my the Twilight Zelda is one of my favorite designs for Zelda. Um, but my picture there with the, all of the cringe that is wonderful. <laughs> I actually drew as like a cover photo for a uh, fan fiction that. I was, um, am still writing, working on, um, I have the first three chapters, I think, on DeviantArt, um, 
but it's the, the premise of the story is I didn't use a game as a base that are a game that already exists as a base. I came up with uh, came up with my own story and high rule and all of that. The I decided to call it Darkness Descended. The idea behind it is in like all of the games um you know, at the beginning, darkness comes and links there, and he starts attacking it right away. Well, the the concept was, um, well, what if the darkness started a long time ago, and Link hasn't even been born yet? Of course, I'm I'm explaining this, you know, after Breath of the Wilds come out, and Breath of the Wilds sort of kind of did that, and it's like, but I I came up with this story idea back in like 2012. And I've been working on it since then. I actually have like, I think 14 or 15 chapters. I just haven't gotten around to posting all of them. Because I'm still like going back through and editing and stuff. And I was working on other things as well and it wasn't like a priority story that I was doing. But yeah, so the, the idea was Link Link hasn't been born, and the darkness is already taking root in Hyrule, and, you know, what if one hero isn't enough this time? What if he needs help? So there, there was that, too. Um, but yeah, the, the, I'll put, like, a link to the first, to, to the, um, there's the, the prelude, pre, yeah, the prelude. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like so tired right now. Which actually has like the cover um, photo picture that I drew. Not the cringy one, the new one that I did. And then that has links to the next chapters t in it. But like I said, it's only like the first three chapters that I have posted right now. But yeah, that's what this Zelda was, uh, is for. I had a lot of fun with her. I actually ended up spending, this is the picture I've spent the longest on in the entire, uh, Linktober. It was just under three hours. It was like two hours and 45 minutes or something like that. But it was like, I lost track of time, I was having a lot of fun with it, and trying to get, you know, all the line work to work the way I wanted to, and getting all the colors to, to match right. But, get, you know, all the purples and the reds and stuff. I was like, I was looking at it and there was still probably one or two things that I'd probably change or add or whatever. But it was like, I noticed how long it was taking, and I was like, hmm, these are just supposed to be quick pictures. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun with it, which is, you know, important, especially considering how this past week has gone for me so far. But, yes, I don't have anything to say, so I'll be quiet for now.
still playing around with the colors. <laughs> Eventually I just kind of said screw it and left it how it was. And I'm like, okay, the chest piece is a little plain, so let's add a little bit of motif to it. And it turned out looking a lot better than I had thought it was. I was really afraid that it wouldn't work right. I was trying to do the same thing on the collar and it just wasn't quite turning out the way I wanted it to. And then I kind of spent a little bit more detailed time on the uh, the shading. It's just I kept I kept getting carried away with this one, but I'm really really happy with how it turned out. It looks she looks very regal and purpley. <laughs> It, it always amazes me, even with my own pictures, how much difference just a little bit of light or dark color can make to a picture, taking it from flat to, you know, having dimension. Just, I, I've always enjoyed the process, whether it's watching someone else do it or doing it myself. Then I was kind of just messing around with the background and actually managed to get something that looked kind of cool. So yeah, that's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and there's only today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. I'll probably have, uh, I probably won't post the final video on Tuesday, or probably be Wednesday that I put it up. But, uh, till then, I'll see you later.